Hi everyone, it's Tatiana from Tatiana's Everyday Food and welcome back to my kitchen. So just in time for all your summer holidays and 4th of July just coming around the corner, I wanted to share with you a really simple lamb kebab recipe. I absolutely love this juicy and tender recipe. Today I'm gonna to be using a lamb leg, which is a little bit more fatty. It takes a little time to cut all of that away, but you're left with a really tender and delicious cut of meat. So I'm gonna show you how to prepare that and I'll show you how to make a really simple chimichurri sauce. So chimichurri goes so well with any type of meat, but especially lamb meat. It perfectly complements this dish and I'll show you how to make a really refreshing tomato and cucumber side salad to go with all of this. Today we're gonna get started by prepping our meat first. So this is a three pound leg of lamb and it has the bone already removed. Usually it comes with a large bone running through the center so you wanna cut that out and discard it. Today I'm gonna to be using about two pounds of this. I'm gonna store about a pound in the freezer for a different recipe. But first we need to clean up the meat. So we're gonna to try to get rid of as much fat and ligaments as possible so we have a nice clean uh, cut of red meat for a kebab. So just pat the meat dry take a sharp knife and I like to cut away the fat from the top first. So I'm just gonna run my knife along the top here, get rid of all the fat. Once you've cleaned off all the fat and you have just the red meat, you wanna cube it into large pieces. So I leave them fairly big. I like the meat to be uh, a nice size on the kebab stick. And we're gonna place the cut meat into a large bowl. I have my meat all prepped now, and now I'm ready to season it. So we're gonna add a couple different things to our kebabs today. We're gonna season with some fresh rosemary and some fresh thyme, and I just removed the leaves from the stem, so we're gonna sprinkle that in. So about a couple tablespoons of each. Next, I'm gonna add my garlic, so I have about four or five garlic cloves, and I've minced these. I'm gonna add that right in. Let's add lots and lots of flavor to our meat. Next, I'm gonna add my salt, so I have about a teaspoon and a half of some kosher salt. We'll sprinkle that over the top. All right, and now for our marinade, so I'm gonna be adding two tablespoons of lemon juice, add two tablespoons of balsamic vinegar. I'm gonna add some freshly ground black pepper, about a teaspoon of this. And I'm gonna add a couple tablespoons of olive oil. Just drizzle that over the top. And now for my vegetables, so I'm gonna add one red onion and I've chopped it into large pieces and I have one red bell pepper that I've also chopped into big pieces. So I'm gonna empty that right in. So now I'm just gonna give this all a really good toss. Make sure that meat and the vegetables are very nicely coated with this marinade. And then this is gonna go in, into the refrigerator. So ideally you want this to marinate for a couple hours. If you're short on time, it's still gonna taste fantastic. Um, but if you have time, you can even marinate this overnight and then you'll have really, really good and tender meat. While my meat is marinated, I'm gonna work on my chimichurri sauce. So I love to serve chimichurri sauce with just about any grilled meat. It works great with steak, with chicken, with lamb. And my recipe is really simple. So I've washed a large bunch of cilantro and I've cut off the hard stems from the bottom. I'm just gonna add that right into my food processor. And you can also use a blender for this. Add that all in. And now for the rest of my ingredients. So I'm gonna add a couple tablespoons of lemon juice for some acidity. I'm gonna add four garlic cloves. I'm gonna add about half a teaspoon of salt. And I add just a little bit of red pepper flakes for a little bit of spiciness. Add a little bit of freshly ground black pepper. And now for our star, we're gonna add our olive oil. So I add about a quarter cup of olive oil just wanna pour that over the top and it's gonna make the sauce super creamy and delicious. I'm gonna cover this and give this a whirl for a few minutes until I have a nice and creamy paste. And now for my salad. So with my grilled meats, I like to serve a light salad that's gonna complement the meat, but also act as a refresher in between bites. So today I'm gonna to make a simple cucumber and tomato salad. So I have one large cucumber that I've sliced into small pieces. Add that into a small bowl. I have two large heirloom tomatoes that I've cut up. We're gonna add two green scallions and I've chopped these into small pieces. And I'm gonna add a couple tablespoons of fresh dill. And dill is a really refreshing herb, so it's gonna be perfect for our meat. We're gonna season this with a couple pinches of salt. 
add my olive oil. So I'm gonna add a couple tablespoons of olive oil. You can also add a little bit of vinegar or lemon juice if you wanna add some acidity. Give us all a quick toss, and then it's ready to be enjoyed with our meat. After your meat has been marinated for a few hours, we're ready to put the meat onto your skewer. So today I'm gonna to be using bamboo skewers that I've soaked in water for about 30 minutes. You can also use metal ones. So what I like to do is just alternate um, the onions, the red bell peppers with the meat. So just skewer the meat onto there along with the vegetables. And you wanna keep the meat kind of spaced out. So you don't wanna overcrowd it. You wanna make sure that it has enough space to cook evenly. and try to get the meat where it has the largest area, you know, surface area, so that when you're cooking it, it's gonna cook all the way through. And now we're ready to grill our kebab. So today I'm gonna to be using this indoor grill pan on my stove top. You can also use an outdoor grill, heat it to about 450 degrees Fahrenheit, and this one I'm heating over medium heat. So once your pan is hot, or your grill, go ahead and add your meat. So I'm gonna cook the lamb about five minutes on each side. I'm gonna rotate it about three to four times. So this cooks for about 18 to 20 minutes. These are looking so good and they smell amazing. So I love how they're getting lots and lots of color on there. So just let them finish cooking completely. And then uh, once you take them off the grill, just let them rest for about five minutes. And now we have everything ready. So we have our kebabs, our salad, and our chimichurri sauce. And I want to say everything looks so colorful and beautiful. And those lamb kebabs smell so, so good while they were on the grill. So now it's time to give this a try. I'm gonna cut a little bit of that lamb with a little bit of the chimichurri sauce. One of my favorite sauces. Mmm. This lamb meat is so, so tender. I love how juicy and delicious it is. And then you get that garlic kick from the chimichurri sauce, which complements this meat so, so well. You guys are gonna absolutely love the combination of all these components. And the cucumber and tomato salad is kind of like a refresher. So in between eating all the meat, you grab a little bit of salad, it clears your palate, and it's such a great side dish for the lamb kebabs and the chimichurri.